Hello everyone and welcome to the newest episode of Closer. Calm down, I'm sure you guys have been anxiously awaiting this new episode, so just relax because it is finally here and turns out that dreams do come true. <laughs> I jest, of course. Uh, but speaking of dreams coming true, do you like my segue there? Uh, I am getting ready to fly out to New York tomorrow because... I am up for the Broadway show Jersey Boys. Um, random story. I came across it pretty much by a failure attempt of American Idol. And I went to American Idol. The judge was like, I can't pass you through this time or you know some other crap that they always say. But uh, she was like, let me tell you something. Go out for Jersey Boys. Uh, they're, they, they'll love you. You'll, you're, per you're perfect for it. Go out for it. And I was like... Okay, thank you. It was totally random and I was kind of turned off by it. So I was like, okay. Uh, and I was like, thank you. So I was going to leave and she was like, no, seriously, go out for Jersey Boys. And I was like, okay, thank you. Uh, and then later I was kind of like, well, uh, that was random. And a week later, by fate, perchance, uh, Jersey Boys was doing a casting call out here in LA. So I thought, well, maybe this was God's way of, you know, telling me to go out for this. So I went out, it went really good, and after the audition, the casting director and the team of people there were like, listen, we really like you, and we want you to come out to New York for the Frankie Valley camp. And they're like, we don't know when, but uh, we'll let you know. So I was like, okay. And me, I'm thinking, you know, we don't really know, it'll probably be like a week, maybe a month. Uh, let's try eight months. Eight months later, I get a call after I've completely forgotten about it. And, yeah, here I am, uh, Saturday, July 17th, getting ready to go to New York for a three-day workshop of Jersey Boys, the role of Frankie Valley. I'm super excited. Uh, I get to see the show. I get to see some of my friends from New York and some of my co-stars of other tours and stuff that I've done. Um, so I'm super excited, and I wanted to bring you along on this journey and kind of see, see what it's like with me. So I hope you like it. And... Uh, yeah, enjoy. I have arrived in New York City. I am super excited. Uh, I love my room. I just checked into the hotel. And uh, I wanted to show you what Jersey Boys set me up with. This is my actually pretty big, comfortable sized room, considering New York in comparison to the last ones I had. Um. Nice. Um, there's a view. I don't even know if you can see. It's crazy. Um, and I came. They had nice... They gave me a gift of chocolates. And notes and a brownie. Um, so I'm excited. I'm going to meet up with my friend Kristen today, who was a cha-cha tree. Uh, among other things, when I did Go Diego Go, and I haven't seen her since uh, we closed in 2008, so I'm super excited about that. And then I wake up in the morning for a 10 o'clock call to do six hours of singing Jersey Boys, so I will bring you along for everything. Okay, so I am about to go meet my friend Kristen, who I have not seen in two years, and I'm excited. I want to get there. Let's see if I can find her. So this is my morning walk for the next three days. It's pretty cool. It's starting to rain, which sucks. And it smells like a mix of ass, garbage, and B.O. Bless New York. So this is the rehearsal hall that we are working at and I'm waiting to go in and I'm a little nervous not to 
is actually nervous because it's really just a rehearsal. It's not like I'm auditioning. Um, but yeah, it's still some nerves going on here. Um, so, here we go.